Welcome back to OTB. So uh, this just broke. Um, it's weird. Like, so the same schedule has leaked in some ways, uh, but nobody has like a super clear just schedule laid out. What was that tweet that you just had up there, Danny? That seems to be accurate. I'm judging this based on an article that just went up on New Orleans uh, football and everything checks one-to-one. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is accurate. It looks like the Saints will start week one in Atlanta. Gets the Dirty Birds at noon. Love starting against the Falcons. Let's ride. They'll come back home week two against Tampa Bay. Uh, that's going to be challenging. As Nick points out, might not have Marcus May then. Not ideal going against Tom Brady as he will be serving uh, likely a suspension for the DUI arrest uh, from, uh, I guess, this offseason at some point. Um, I don't know what is going on week three. Week four, you have... Uh, the Vikings in London, and then in a in pretty Tottenham intense turnaround, Jake. Stadium. Yeah, in Tottenham. Go Hot Spurs. Uh, you got to turn around from the London game, and then you got Seattle at home, week five. No buy, no rest for the weary. Get your ass back. You could probably speak to that. Um, then week we used six. To, we used to always, you got a buy. If you played in London, yeah. you got a buy automatically. It's kind of what I thought, too. Now, I don't know and that I would, would want a buy at that point in the season, but then again, when they do have it, it's not exactly ideal either. And they'd, they'd hook you up with an East Coast game so you could go from the East Coast straight to London. So, uh, okay, so you will at least be at home central time if that yeah. makes anything easier, but that's quick turnaround. Uh, the big one here, week six, Bengals, Burrow, Chase, Noon on a Sunday, okay? Shelvin. Going to be, yes, yeah, Shelvin. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, sure, right, I guess. Man, uh, whoa. I mean, yes, yes. Look, I like them as well, but, I mean, come on, though, bro. It's about, it's about Burrow Chase. This dude only likes the stars. Put some respect on Tyler Shelvin's man. Ty- yeah. Tyler Shelvin's name, man. Yeah. La that Refrigeradora. That's what we called them on the Spanish broadcast. Yeah. Go back and watch the tape, man. 2019, Thaddeus Moss. ISO blocks from shotgun, yeah. catching passes, blocking folks. Go back to that Auburn game in 2019 against that defensive line. They all going down that day, though. How are you going to mention Thad Moss and not even mention the toe tapper against Alabama? It's literally one of the I, greatest plays in LSU school. Football. That tells you how many he's got. Go back and watch the 2019 Auburn tape, by the way. I know you're only into the uh, the big plays like that. Go watch the run blocking. The amount of film bro flexing that you're attempting to do right now. Like, I didn't watch every single snap of that season in depth. Uh, yes, if you did, Boss then you would have talked about that. Clearly, we're great players for LSU. Are you going to pretend like they are on the same level as Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase in the NFL? What are y'all two talking Once about? Once a Tiger, always a Tiger, same T-Bob. Team. Um, Danny, could you bring that schedule back up? That you had? Okay, there it is. So, October 16th, Bengals come to town. Uh, then you got to turn around quick and go to Arizona for a Thursday night game. But it looks like the stretch, uh, Baltimore Monday Night Football Week 9 is interesting, but it looks like the stretch that is going to be absolutely brutal, Jake. And this is not off of a bye. This is before a bye, a late bye for the New Orleans Saints. You have L.A. Rams at home at San Francisco at Tampa Bay on Monday Night Football in Weeks 11, 12, and 13. Your bye is Week 14. So the hardest part of your season is going to be at the grindiest part of your season. And if you survive, you will get the respite of a bye and everything else. But that is a moment of your season that could potentially break you. A week 14 bye is brutal. A week 14 bye should not be allowed. And I realized that they bumped it down. You know, you can, I think the first week used to be week four. They, so they bumped it down to six. And so they move it back to 14. If you have a week 14 bye, T, you basically play a full season. Full season. You're playing a full season before you get Last year, the Colts, Dolphins, Patriot, and Eagles all played 13 straight games before getting their bye. I'm just telling you, man, that that on your body, that is absolutely brutal. And that's going to be a challenge for the Saints and certainly coming off games because we don't know what week 10 looks like. But no matter who the opponent is, you're playing against Baltimore. It's a physical game. Yeah. It's going to be a very physical yeah. game. Now, it's at home. It's a Monday night game. You're playing Baltimore, whoever Week 10 is, and then physical, physical Oof. Tampa Bay. Oof. Because make no mistake, it the Rams friendly. have a lot of flash. Did you just clean your coffee off that jersey with my scarf? I tried to, dude. I tried to, but it's not really coming off. That scarf is not 
a god dang napkin. Do you see any coffee on here? That is something. Do you see any coffee on here? That used to be there that you just replaced. No, it. I didn't replace it. There's, Danny did to get some pelicans in there. There's paper towels right there. Don't and those, of all the things pieces. to grab in this studio, you grab my scarf that was given to me by the Baton Rouge Outlaws yeah. to clean your damn coffee off I mean, your shirt. Really of the jersey this, that I also gave you. I'm really going to be this pearl clutchy about it. The, the scarf is fine.